Good day everybody, I'm Gerry Ferreira, founder and owner of Kuro Livestock Exports. We've been exporting animals from South Africa since 1996 to more than 50 countries. Today I would like to point out very important aspects to everybody who would like to import animals from South Africa. There's some aspects that needs to be addressed. As an official judge and inspector of South African Boer Goat Breeders Association, in other words, the Boer Goats, Kalaharits and Savannas, I would like to cover the inspections that needs to be performed before the departure of the animals from South Africa. To be 100% sure that they are according to the breed standards and thus purebred animals. I would like to make it clear that no animals are allowed to be exported from South Africa without being inspected by two independent um, judges or inspectors. I am thus not um, allowed to inspect my own animals. It is important to keep in mind that for all breeding stock that gets exported from South Africa, you need to have these inspections. And that is also applicable to all other breeds in South Africa, if it is sheep, goats or cattle. And only animals that are according to the specific breed standards are allowed to be exported from this country. If it's not like that, if you are using any other way, it is illegal. And all these goats should be, all these animals actually, should be registered with South African Stud Book. That is the only animals that will be allowed legally to be exported from South Africa. In other words, the breeders should be able to produce a Stud Book certificate. You will thus be assured that the animals are purebred and no crossbreeds will be exported. For all animals, to be exported from South Africa, you need to comply to the health directives, in other words, the health protocol of the importing country. That is of utmost importance. And the South African state veterinarians should again issue a health certificate according to the protocol of the importing country. In other words, in short, the importing country is calling the shots. But in South Africa, there is a, a system that needs to be followed. The, the certificate will be issued by the, health, by the state veterinarian, but the private veterinarians are actually doing the job on the ground. They will have to, to issue a statement to the state veterinarian on which the state veterinarian will eventually issue the final health certificate. The health procedures will now be discussed by Dr. Arjen Olivier, a private veterinarian and an expert in South Africa on um, the exportation of livestock. We should sort out a protocol, and this is why I've invited Danny Strauss to come and, you know, uh, to be part of it. Ah, oh, Danny, good to see you, and I'm really glad that you could make it. Thanks. Welcome, and uh, I hope that we can sort out a lot of stuff today. I hope so as well. This is Dr. Arden Ulifir, our private veterinarian, and Dani Strauss from BKB. Pleased to meet you, Dani. Same, doctor. Dani, we are discussing uh, exports of livestock, small and large livestock. Uh, what is your role in this process? Uh, Dr. Adrian, I'm with PKB. Um, I joined the company five years ago. What we specialize in is in the sourcing of these quality animals, this quality genetics uh, to these exporters to get them out of the country and get the genetics to, to improve all the, the other herds in the foreign countries. Dani, I've also heard that you are involved with auctions. Uh, is that right? Yes, I'm actually an auctioneer as well. Um, I'm doing a lot of these start auctions where all these quality animals come through. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, thrilling job. So Dr. Adrian, I've heard that you are a veterinarian. Are you a private or state veterinarian? I am a private veterinarian responsible for animal health for livestock farmers. Dr. Adrian, what is the role of the private veterinarian and the state veterinarians in the exportation of livestock in South Africa? Dani, thank you. That is a very important question on the role of the private veterinarian and the state veterinarian. 
Each country has a specific animal health protocol that needs to be followed. Dani, it is important for the first step for any exporter to get the health protocol from the importing country. This must not be in English that we can understand on what they want and what they need for the exports. I cannot emphasize more that it is important that we need to comply with the health protocol that you need to get from the country before you start exporting. Then we know we must comply to each and every aspect of the country's import protocol. So we are responsible for the health protocol and we cannot deviate from any of the points mentioned in the protocol. All must be in compliance. I think it's uh, important to remember, and I must emphasize this, that is a, it is a team that is involved with exports. It's yourself, the company, it is the farmer, the private veterinarian, and the state veterinarian. Um, Dani, we are discussing exports and the role of the private veterinarian and that of the state veterinarian. So I will give you a brief understanding of what our roles are. My role as a private veterinarian is to ensure that the animal health on the farm is of the best quality and that these animals that are exported do not suffer from any diseases. So um, as a private veterinarian, I am responsible for the health protocol. Each country has its own health protocol that needs to comply with. The animal health protocol will uh, require that I look at a number of animal diseases that the animals might suffer from, and I must ensure that these animals are healthy. I inspect each animal individually and look if there are any diseases and look at their general health. It might be required that they are tested using blood tests for animal diseases and a vaccination certificate. After I've um, received the results from the blood test and all other vaccinations, I will draw up a health declaration which I will then present to the state veterinarian. This is where my role will end. I must emphasize that the health declaration which I prepare as private veterinarian is essential for the state veterinarian to make a declaration on the animal health for animals to be exported. The state veterinarian will use my health declaration to prepare the health certificate, which by law they are responsible to sign as part of the competent authority, and she will then stamp and sign that document for export. The state veterinarian is the only person by law responsible to stamp and sign the health certificate for export. Dr. Adrian, do you personally get involved with the selection of these animals that get exported? Dani, I think it is important to remember that we as private veterinarians do not get involved with the selection of animals for export. We are only responsible for the animal health side of export. The people that are involved with the selection of these animals for export will be the Breeders Association and their accredited inspectors that are officially appointed and independent for the selection of the animals. I've heard that you are involved uh, with Karoo Livestock Exports. Tell me, how long have you been involved uh, with the quarantine and the health standards uh, of their exports? I have been involved with Karoo Livestock Exports for a number of years. Um, we have started the quarantine station and I've been involved there as a consultant. And then we also work as a team together as myself, the state veterinarian and the farm manager to ensure the animals are healthy and they are fit to travel for export.